the No Fate channel, checking in, and I am heading back to Waikiki Beach. <laughs> I am dedicated to helping you dads, and this is the start of an eight-week series where I reverse this dad bod. Now, normally, I make videos for you, and the reality is this series is all about me. If I've been talking for so long about getting back my honeymoon body, uh, getting back into my honeymoon shape, and the reality is all it's been is talk. By making this series, I'm holding myself accountable because I have to deliver on these videos and hopefully you can hold me accountable too. So what's this series all about? Well, the reality is we all have a moment in our past where we were happy, we were healthy, we were in great shape. And when we look back at those photos and we think about that time, we say to ourselves, oh man, I looked great. I just wish I could get back to that one point in time. And the reality is we can, okay? It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to do it. And that's what we're doing on this series. We're gonna go back and get back into that honeymoon shape. Now for me, I got married on July 2nd and by July 4th, I was in Waikiki Beach watching fireworks over the beach. I, I felt great, I looked great. And I, I looked at the back of those photos. I was like, wow, look at that shape. Small waist, big arms, big smile. Now, obviously I am much older, so I can't do anything about this face, but I can still, basically get my body into shape to look good, to have that small waist, those big arms, feel good, look good, and just get back to that moment in time. Over the course of this eight week journey, I'm gonna get myself back to where I was when I have that photo on Waikiki Beach. I'm gonna put it right up here. I was 185 pounds with a 32 inch waist. I felt good, I looked good, and I was just high on life, okay? That's what I call all the time BC, before children. You dads probably know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go there over the course of this eight weeks and if you want to come along for the ride, great. Hopefully you can get something out of it. I would certainly encourage you to go back into your photo albums, find that one photo that really stands out as a great point in time and try to get back there. Hey, come along with me. We can help each other out. Over the course of this eight week trip back to Waikiki, I'm going to go over a number of tips and tricks that hopefully you'll find beneficial. We're going to cover the glycemic index. We're going to go over ways to boost your metabolism, how to get your stomach flat, we're also going to talk about cardio mistakes that we all make and how we can avoid it in order to train smarter because as we get older it's not about just training harder or more it's about training smarter and being very precise with our training maximizing our benefit from the training that we get and minimizing the damage that we're doing to our joints so that we can recover that much quicker it is week zero it is effectively day zero so you know what that means measurement time if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know that I have said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. What gets measured gets managed. So it's very important to take your measurements for what's important to you on day zero so that when you hit day 60, day 90, day 120, day whatever, you know how far you have come. Um, for me, the measurements that I care about are my weight and my waist. Um, but certainly if you have another measurement that you care about, certainly take that. Also take photos. Take videotapes so that you can compare the photos. It's so important not necessarily to focus so much on a measurement, but how we look, okay? Oftentimes when people see us in the street, they don't know how much we weigh. They don't know our body fat. They don't know how big your waist is. They don't know what size clothing you're wearing. It's all about you know that perception of looking good, standing up tall, just, just looking good and feeling good. And that's what the series is all gonna be about. So I'm gonna be using my fitness pal. It is a free app on any smartphone. Uh, it's really versatile. You can track your calories, your macros, you can put photos in, you can save your photos, document the day and the time that you took them. Same thing with your measurements. Uh, I'm a big fan of that fitness uh, app. They've done really good improvements since they started it like six years ago and it just continues to get improved. They continue to do improvements on it. And again, it's free, so why not, right? Here is the grueling and very much gruesome video of me as I am right now, day zero. I weigh at 181.3 pounds, um, very much skinny fat and a 33 inch waist, which, which isn't too bad, all things considered. Um, keep in mind, uh, the rug on my back and my chest is not a rug at all, that is body hair. And again, if I can put this video up online for you all to see, then you at home can certainly take measurements and take a few photos and videos of yourself so you know where you're at because you don't have to post them for anyone else to see, but it's gonna be important for you uh, at day 30, day 60, day 90, et cetera, in order to see how far you've come and realize uh, the work that you've put in, how it has paid off. Hopefully that will motivate you to put in even more work. This video series is basically for me, okay? I know 
that a goal without a plan is just a dream. And I know that if I put this video series together, it will force me to stop talking about trying to get back into that honeymoon shape and actually get there because I will have accountability, at least for myself. Hopefully you can hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, follow this journey and keep me accountable. And hey, come along for the ride or start your own journey and we can do it together, okay? We can help each other out, keep each other honest. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.